Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, given the quality evaluation of data pool suppliers, how do you evaluate the quality of data vendors and their data? Yeah, so first of all, I think we need to look at, given the data sets, okay, how is it laid out? What kind of a format is it in? You know, for example, there's a huge difference between, okay, you just give me a CSV file, flat file with you know, not very clear uh, headers and uh, instructions, as opposed to a more complete, very nicely laid out data format. Uh, you know, immediately, that makes a huge difference. And then secondly, we will obviously evaluate the quality of the data in terms of its ability to generate training signals. Uh, you know, we want to make sure that the data is not back-tested and all overfitted so that, you know, we run independent uh, data tests and we see, okay, if we change the parameters of the back test a little bit, let's say if we lag the data signals by one day or one week or one month, does it still have forecasting power? And also, is it, um, you know, does it add actual value to our existing signal? For example, you know, natural language processing social sentiment signals may already be highly correlated with momentum signals. So we want to make sure that, okay, we, after isolating the social sentiment signal itself, does it still produce um, significant outcomes? So, you know, I think those are the few key things that we look for when we receive a data set for evaluation. Thank you. So which type of data do you think hold the most promise for SM managers in the future? Yeah, so I think, um, Generally speaking, for equity markets, the natural language processing type of data, social media sentiments, they are relatively kind of commoditized. Okay, so I think um, over there, the more, in, in my view, kind of a future, or the more promise is in applying the NLP techniques to internal data sets. Mm -hmm. So I think in the future, a lot of the companies and asset managers will probably focus on that. And I think some of the um, data sets that are still, still relatively difficult to obtain and um, analyze, such as credit card data. Mm -hmm. So they could also be very interesting as well. But you know, I would say, generally speaking, it's a combination of things in the future. So going from, let's say, external publicly available data to internal proprietary data, going from kind of uh, linear models of uh, relating data to the investment outcome to nonlinear models using such as you know, things like machine learning techniques, for example. Those are the direction that we are going into. I think. Thank you. Very insightful. Okay, thank, thank you very you. much.